All right, so in today's video, man, we're gonna take a look at Nate Got Keys. One of with one of Nate Got Keys videos is one of the latest ones. It was actually the homeless video. Um, a lot of people sent me this. Uh, shout out to everybody that sent me this particular video. So y'all know typically with his videos, they're kind of all the same. Starting out with him digging in the trash can, stuff like that. But let's see if he actually switches it up. Um, but before we get to today's video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell, turn on post notifications, man, so you're notified when we drop. Also, uh, just giving y'all a heads up on what's going on around with the channel, stuff like that. Um, usually, I like to post consistently. I upload videos every day. They, may, they don't get posted every day just because of YouTube checks. Like, YouTube checks is um ass suitabilities and stuff like that so typically i wait for them to do their ass suitability checks and then that's when i will post videos for some reason youtube has been taking forever to um do checks like i have videos that i've done weeks ago that still have not been reviewed so hey um, once we get all those videos reviewed i will be probably releasing a, maybe a couple two and three a day videos just because we got videos backed up right now but with that being said man Let's get into today's video. All right, so off rip. First thing I noticed, bro, once again, you can tell that he's heavily lotioned up. And what I mean by heavily lotioned up, there's like no ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see what we see. You see, you see right there? See a little see, see right here? There's like none of those. There's ash marks. So if you don't know what ash marks are, there's no ashy marks. So your boy heavily, uh, heavily uh, lotioned up. The back of his shirt's dirty, and the back of his shirt looked like somebody did this. Back of his shirt looks like somebody got some scissors and, sn and snipped up the top, and probably just threw some dirt on the back of his shirt. Once again, still no lint in homeboy's head. Um, also, the dog collar, the, the the little dog leash, the blue dog leash. That's not dirty. If you was homeless and you've been out there with your dog, chances are that dog leash should be dirty. It'll be kind of run down or whatever. As a perfectly secure dog leash. As a, and, and, and it's clean. So, once again, and, you, and, you're, and you're digging in the same trash can. So, next time, make sure your legs and your feet and your elbows and toes and everything else is ashy, bro. Next time, make sure to have um, dirt on maybe the front of your shirt. Well, we ain't seen the front of your shirt yet, but I'm pretty sure... You may have dirt on front of your shirt, but make sure you have some sand or something in your hair or something, bro. Excuse me. Do you have any change? Um, I don't have any cash on me. Really? That's okay. Thank you. What are you doing yourself to? What's his name? Uh, his name is Rocco. What's your name? It's Grace. Grace? Yeah. You come around here? Um, I'm actually from the Bay Area. Oh, for real? How long you been out here for? <clears throat> um, almost two years. You like it? Yeah, I like it. That's good. Like, how did, like, I, I don't want to be, like, you know, pushy or anything, but, like, you look so young. I just, so basically I came out here because I wanted to be an actor. And then I just started, like, partying a lot. And I don't know, it just didn't work out the way that I wanted it to work out. And then, you don't like, have any, like, family out here? No, I had friends, but none of them wanted to help me. So I just been out here with Rocco, and we just been trying to get by as well as we can. Like, he hasn't ate in probably like three days now, and I haven't ate in like four days. So it's just, it's just super tough. Yeah. But, yeah. like, um, I'm about to go to Starbucks. I don't know if you want anything or like, um, if it's not too much, can I have a water? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Do you want anything else? I'm, I'm cool with just water and maybe a sandwich if they have some. Okay, yeah. Thank you. you. All right, I'm going to be right back. Okay, thank you. Rocco, come on. All right, so once again, he's back with his little fake homeless prank videos and stuff of that nature. Uh, he been out there for four, eight, eight and four days. The dog ain't eight and three days. She's about to go to Starbucks. So he's like, can I get a water? So, okay. So 
let's see how this transpires. You know, so let's see if she brings him back a hundred dollars worth of food. You know, you know how this go, y'all. Let's see, man. Let's see if she really comes back, okay? If she really comes back, we got a reward for her. You really came back. Thank you. Sandwich and oh, you did? Thank you. And it's free dog. So cute. Wait, damn. They had dog food? A little puppets, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Raka, you like that? Thank you so much. Oh, sure. Did you need anything else? Like, I don't know. You did so much. Like, this is. Like, so much I just appreciate it because nobody's helped me, like, in a while. So I really appreciate it. Do you have, like, a, like a game plan? Like, what, what's your, like... All right, so she comes back 45 minutes later with some water. And she actually found some dog food along the way. Huh? So I didn't know that. I didn't really know that uh, Starbucks sold some type of dog food or or maybe got the dog some meat from Starbucks or maybe went to another store and got some meat or something like that. So, you know, um, now I say, I say the, the giving homeless people water and food, that's typical. But running 45 minutes out of your way just to bring back some water and some Starbucks for somebody, not so typical, you know what I'm saying? But let's continue watching this stuff. Honestly, like after the stock market and the crypto crash, it's just been super tough. Oh, that's what you were into, like stock and crypto? Yeah, stock and crypto. And then my wife left me when that happened. And then my acting career, like it didn't work out. So like stocks and crypto was like, really what was getting me by and then after that crash it just took a toll and i just got super depressed and my wife left me yeah. um I don't know. yeah so i'm just trying to survive as long as i can the best as i can and try to help him survive as well you know but i appreciate you doing this because nobody's done this working on saving for a car, but um, I don't know, like your story, like, it low-key, like, I don't know, I uh, I feel really bad for you, but at the same time, like, I think you have so much potential, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you just need help, and like, the fact that you don't have any family that's willing to help you, like, bothers me a lot, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I was just gonna give you this, uh, and like, What's hopefully that? it helps like, I don't know if it can help you, but... What is it? Um, just, here. It's $3,500. It's, you know, um... All right, so this is where we light his ass up, right? And we're going to really end that video right there because I got a special surprise for y'all. All right, so for a lot of y'all that didn't know. All right, so with this being said, okay, so let me get this right. Shorty walking down the street, meet this homeless dude, right? She meet the homeless dude. Oh, I'm going to run to Starbucks. I'm going to, you know, I can come back, whatever, whatever. So we don't forget on this channel. Y'all know we damn sure don't forget, not us. And then, you know, the thing pops up on the screen. It says 45 minutes later. Okay, understandable. So Shorty comes back with two water bottles, a little cup of food for the dog. Starbucks, give him a little sandwich or whatever. And she comes back with, I guess, $3,500 where she's technically been saving up for a car because um, people just save their, all their money up to meet a homeless person and give it to them. That doesn't happen. Secondly, um, if she's gone for 45 minutes and she, and she probably possibly went by a store to get those water bottles because, you know, I don't necessarily 
think Starbucks actually sells that brand of water bottle. I think you get water in a cup at Starbucks. That's just my that's just my opinion. Um, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know. So let me get this right. You, I guess you may went by a convenience store according to the content because y'all want to make it seem real, make it seem real. Well, you went by a convenience store to get those water bottles. So in the convenience store, right? Typically, what they do have in some convenience stores, they have like maybe a couple shoes, like a couple flip flops, and you know, y'all y'all know where I'm getting with this, right? Couple flip flops, couple shoes, couple shirt shorts. You know, they sometimes some convenience stores do have them. Most convenience stores do not have them. But you know, so let me get and then let me get this right. So she shows back up with all that with the thirty five hundred dollars. Basically, gives her car savings to this dude. Why didn't you just go out and buy the dude like some shoes? I mean, he still he still has no shoes. Huh? I mean, well, oh, here you go. I'm going to feed you. I'm going to give you $3,500. And I'm going to tell you, hopefully you make it, man. But why did you go buy him a new shirt? Buy him some shorts. Buy him some flip-flops. Dollar store. Dollar store flip-flops a dollar. I know that. I don't wear them, but I know that. I'll be in a dollar store. And y'all be in a dollar store, too. Y'all know that. So, this is where next time try to get somebody to bring you some shoes. You got to make it. More realistic than somebody walking down the street having a conversation. Okay, I'm going to get something to eat. I bring something to, something to eat back. Because one narrative that y'all can never get away from is the eating factor. Either in the gold digger videos, either yeah, we can go to dinner or she's not a gold digger. Oh, yeah, sure, we can go to dinner. Or in these homeless pranks. Okay, well, I'm about to go to the store and get something to eat. Y'all always got to throw the element of food in y'all's in y'all's um in every video. So next time when you do these, Nate, maybe have the girl go buy you a new shirt. You know what I'm saying? Maybe have her go buy you a cheap pair of five dollar shoes because you look silly. This look how silly a person look. You look dumb and you look dumb whenever somebody brings you back some food and brings you back ten racks, five racks, but don't bring you back no shoes. But you still ain't got no shoes. Hmm. Like you got to use this. But we are going to end that right there, right? And the reason why I want to end this right here is because I noticed something. We don't forget. Y'all probably forgot, but we don't forget. You can kind of rewind it back to the beginning of the beginning of the video to where she's actually walking past. And he actually explains to her what it was. She actually tells him what his name was. She said her name was Grace. Hmm, Grace. That sounds very familiar. Know me, I do like a lot of gold digger vids, bro. But the thing is, we gotta put someone to the test, and you know what I'm saying? The person we gotta get put to the test is Grace Mike Henderson, you know what I'm saying? Hey, there's a lot of things you guys say in my comment section. You guys are real saying, like, yo, what type of girl is Grace? Honestly, so basically, what we're doing today's video, bro. I don't know if he's ever been on my channel, bro, but basically, my boy Tony, he's coming to my house for the first time and everything. He wants to be a YouTuber. We've been in the DMs, he's like, yo, bro. What does it take to be a YouTuber, bro? I want to be a YouTuber just like you. So he's coming to my house, but the thing he doesn't know is not going to be a regular day at the P2 house. Basically, we're going to be putting him to the test today. You guys are probably wondering, yo, P2, what type of test are we doing today? So what we're going to be doing today, you guys remember, I think a long time ago, I think it was like two years ago, I did a homeless gold digger test, you know what I'm saying? What we're going to be doing, we're actually going to be switching the roles and we're going to have a female. You guys are probably thinking, who's the female going to be? Who's going to be homeless today? What's going to Happen. Well, I'm over here doing my intro, but if I point to that direction, you're gonna see who's gonna be homeless today. Yo, Sylvester, you wanna show who's gonna be homeless? Who is that? Spirit Chain. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> is that Grace Sage? Well, as you can see, man, Grace has already been featured in other people's videos. She was actually featured in two of P2. My name is P. P2 is the name. He has like 3.1 3 million subscribers on YouTube. She's already featured in two of his videos. Here's your reminder from my daily mindset skill. Don't forget to build your practice with a new affirmation. Alexa, this this daily affirmation. There are multiple skills with that name. To learn more about each Here's skill, see the Alexa app for more details. Don't forget to build your practice with a new affirmation. All right, so... All right, so back to what I was saying. So with that being said, man, you see Grace has already been in these videos. So Nate, like I said, there was no point in me continue to break down that whole video. No point. As you can see, P2, I mean, come on, man. Y'all see what I'm saying? And this is what y'all be falling for, y'all. But let me know what y'all think about this. I wasn't going to make this. I was going to actually do a full breakdown until I actually remembered halfway through the original breakdown uh, well, the reaction of Nate's video, like, hold on. So I actually remember that I that I had some more stuff to add into it. But with that being said, man, 
y'all leave y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Y'all let me know what y'all y'all think about Nate basically getting caught again using a girl that's already been in somebody else's videos again. And what y'all think about his fake uh, homeless prank video. Also, what y'all think about the same script to the homeless prank video? They never bring him no shoes. They never bring him a wet rag to wipe his face off. They never bring him the you know they never bring him the necessity things. They always bring him some water, some food, and here's some money. No shoes, no new shirt, no deodorant, nothing. But with that being said, man, we up out of here. But with that being said, like, share, subscribe, and we up out of here.